Well, good afternoon folks, or whenever you're watching this, uh, welcome to the first part of our um, series on understanding inference, which is something that's very important in both our reading, our writing and our day-to-day -day lives. So, when it comes to understanding inference, I guess the first and most obvious question is, what is an inference? Well, Put simply, not really simply, when you infer, you use two or more pieces of information from a text in order to arrive at a third piece of information that is implicit. Now, implicit's a pretty tricky little word there, but basically when we're talking about being implicit, what we mean is it's not directly stated. We work out the third piece of information using background clues. So let's have a look at an example and see if we can work it out. So, for example, in this sentence, Georgie had an ice cream. Then she went for a swim in the cool, salty water. The question I have for you is, where is Georgie? Any ideas? Well, Georgie is at the ocean. Now, how did we work that out? Didn't say she was at the ocean. Um, didn't even say she was at the beach. So why is that for the majority of us, that would be the first thing that we thought? That's because we made an inference. So let's try and break down how we make these inferences. And a lot of this is implicit, unconscious. We know that ocean is comprised of salty water. We associate ice cream and summer. We associate summer and going to the beach. And for a lot of us here at Henley High School, we work and go, well, for all of us here at Henley High School, we work and go to a school near a beach so it's closely attached to our emotions and memories. It's more than likely one of the first things that's going to come to mind. So we can see there how this is something we actually do every day without thinking about it. And that for, from a school perspective, from your education and your learning perspective, developing our skills and inference is important because it's essential to reading comprehension. Using inference is essential to quality writing, being a quality writer, and we're required to infer meaning all day, every day. So, now, over to you. What I would like you to do is to write your own inference using two sentences and explain what the reader can infer. So, for example, Mr Heathcote gave his students a link he then asked the class to make sure they had completed the task by tomorrow. From that, we can infer, hopefully, that Mr Heathcote wants students to view the video on inference and complete the question because he'll be checking at the beginning of the next question. Alright, uh, happy learning. Over and out.